Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Today, we will learn about the moon. Have you ever looked into the night sky to see the wonder and beauty of the stars and the moon? Have you ever wondered why the moon is there and why it seems to change each night? Well, let's learn all about the moon today. The moon is one of the brightest objects in our night sky and it orbits or moves around the earth much like how the earth orbits the sun. It takes the moon approximately 27 days or one month to complete its orbit around the earth. The moon is more than one quarter the size of earth and is made mostly of rock. Its surface has thousands of pits called craters which are formed when chunks of rock and metal, called meteorites, crash into it. During the day, when the sun is facing the moon, the surface temperature is about 225 degrees Fahrenheit or 107 degrees Celsius. But at night, it drops to negative 243 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 153 degrees Celsius. The moon does not produce its own light, instead it reflects the light from the sun. Depending on its position in the sky, part of it will be lit up and part of it will be dark. Depending on its position in the lunar cycle, it will appear in different shapes and this is what we refer to as the phases of the moon. The lunar cycle begins with the new moon when the moon appears completely dark. This is because the unlit side of the moon is completely facing the Earth. Solar eclipses can only happen during the new moon phase because it is the only time that the moon is between the sun and the Earth. The second phase in the lunar cycle is called the waxen crescent. The moon will appear with a thin slice of light in the shape of a crescent. At this point in the lunar cycle, the moon appears to be growing, hence the term waxing crescent. The third phase in the lunar cycle is called the first quarter. The crescent in the second phase would have gotten thicker, revealing about half of the moon by this point. Some people refer to the moon as a half moon, but the more accurate term to use is first quarter since the moon is one quarter of the way through its cycle. The fourth phase of the lunar cycle is called the waxen gibbous. The word gibbous means swollen and the word waxen means growing. So in this phase, the moon appears to be growing even more with each passing day. The fifth phase of the lunar cycle is called the full moon. In this phase, the moon is the biggest, the brightest, and the most noticeable. At this point during the lunar cycle, the moon is halfway through its orbit around the Earth. This is the only time that there can be a lunar eclipse because it is the only time the Earth's shadow would fall on the moon. With each passing day, the moon appears smaller. The sixth phase of the moon is called the waning gibbous. The word waning means to shrink or get smaller, so as the moon continues its orbit, it appears to get smaller each day. The seventh phase of the moon is called the third quarter because the moon is three quarters of the way through its orbit around the earth. Half of the moon is covered in this phase. The moon appears to get smaller with each passing day. The eighth phase of the moon is called the waning crescent. As the moon appears to shrink down to a thin sliver of light, it nears the end of its orbit around the Earth. With each passing day, the light completely fades until the moon transitions completely into the new moon and the cycle starts again. The moon has been a fascinating and intriguing object in our night sky for a long time. It is a natural, permanent satellite for Earth and its gravity affects our planet. The moon's gravitational pull affects our ocean levels, 
which creates high and low tide conditions. The moon is big, beautiful, and bright. It may appear different each night as it completes its orbit around the Earth. Now you know the various phases of the moon. Can you name them all? New moon Waxing crescent First quarter Waxing gibbous Full moon Waning gibbous, third quarter, waning crescent. I hope you learned something about the moon today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easyahomeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.